So hey everyone, welcome to module two, search ads mastery. But before we actually start this module, we need to set up conversion tracking, right? Before we launch any type of ads on any Google ads account or any account, like we need to set up tracking first. Otherwise, like the money that we spend on ads is just wasted budget. Because if we don't know what's working, then how we are going to optimize it. So the only way like you can make sure the money you are investing into ads is if your conversion tracking is set up. Even if you are, let's say, using triple well or high rows or any other third party tracking software, you still need to set up tracking. Why? Because this is how you tell Google or you train pixel like algorithm, like, okay, this is what works for our product, our brand, our Google ads account. So Google can get you like better quality of traffic. So there are a couple of ways you can do this, but uh, like first way that I'll show you is the simplest way where you need only Google ads account and Shopify. The second way is you can use this app on Shopify, which is called Simprosis. or the third option is which we do for our clients. This is like very advanced where we use like Google Tax Manager and Google Analytics. But for this tutorial, we will keep this very simple. So just click on this doc and go to this open this document for this method again we will need two things first standard access to google ads account and second is a shopify access where you can edit theme and checkout section so given that you have both ready now we will go to google ads account now if you click on tools and setting on top right corner you will see conversions under measurement so click on that Okay, here you see we already have an example like in purchase MTS and it says primary. So you want you want to make sure like there can only be one primary action for purchase or add to cart or begin checkout anything, whatever you set up. So here we first will make sure like this is secondary. So you need to click on this, edit setting, primary, rules change it to secondary, save, done. So now if we go to conversions again, you will see this is secondary. Let's say you have a totally new account and you don't have any conversion tracking setup. That's fine. So what we will do, that's, that's, uh, we'll, we will set up like a new conversion purchase tracking from scratch. So click on new conversion action website here for this example, we will say, let's say Amazon.com. Let Google scan the website should take a couple of seconds apply. So if you scroll down, we will set up this manually. So click on this button, add a conversion action manually. Click on this one. Now select the category, which would be purchase. Let's say purchase MTS 02. Okay. For value, we will set up a different value for each conversion because everyone is not going to buy the same things and there will be upsells and downsells so we will keep this different every is fine and now click on done so once you click on done you need to go click on save and continue this is a good part where we will set up like two codes so first is if you click on this setup right open okay cool so now copy all this, click on this button. We'll go to Shopify. This is just a test store. So first, what we need to do is go to settings, left bottom corner. Now we'll go to checkout. And under checkout, if you scroll down, you will see this section called additional scripts. You just need to paste the code that we just copied and that's fine. Now enter, 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 because we'll need to now add another code. So we'll go again. So basically Google tag, this is for the remarketing and cookies, right? So this is done. Click on close. Now we will click on this C event snippet. This is actually where the magic happens. So page load is fine. Now copy this code, go back to the checkout and paste here. But we, we here we need to do some modification first is what if someone refreshes the checkout page then we don't want google to track that as a duplicate conversion so which is why if you go to the doc you will see these two lines so first we need to add this one above the code like the snippet code copy this go here 
and we pasted this above the snippet code and after the snippet code we'll add an end if okay. now we have added end if now we have again some problems with this code so if you see value it says one this value it says one that means it's static we don't want a static value we want dynamic value so which is why we will change this to go again here let's say you want to exclude taxes and shipping from the conversion value then you can use this uh, checkout subtotal price but we will here we will include everything which is standard practice for all the e-commerce brands so what we will do is just copy this one copy, copy go here and instead of one you you add the code that we just copied here okay cool so now this is dynamic and for the transaction id we'll add order id so here transaction id we add order id okay this looks good just double checking one last time comma and okay perfect this looks so this looks just like the example we are good to go click on save we are half there. we are almost done so now we need to copy this g tag again so we'll go here we'll close this we'll go click on try again and we need to add this g tag code copy again onto the in like all the pages of website so the easiest way that you can do that on shopify is theme code so click on online store now click on here and only edit code we'll go to the edit code now you will find this theme dot liquid click on it and here just below the head we make some space and paste gtech code okay cool save okay this is saved test installation this is not really needed but okay this can this can take a couple hours to actually start tracking but this is all you need to know when it comes to conversion tracking google ads plus shopify now we'll be tracking conversions just click on done and again some best practices like i said you you can you should only have one primary action so let's say even if you have a couple purchases for different purpose or whatever just make sure only one of them is primary because if you have like a two or more purchases as a primary that what will happen is like it will be duplication so, so this is all for this a uh, conversion tracking video and now i'll see you in the next video where we will actually talk about search ads and everything